kids get the best of it with WDCA Channel 20 in Washington, D.C. Think twice before you answer. Think twice. Think twice before you say yes. Think twice before you answer. Think twice before you say yes. You know, I know y'all saying this and that. Look at this fool. Got this watermelon here. The reason why I say think twice is because that's give me a little air. That'll give me a little air, y'all. The reason why I say think twice is because I just can't understand how we as black people start eating watermelon in the closet. Lord have me. This is called the heart. You know, it makes me feel so bad sometimes when I'm, I see black, my black brothers and sisters, and they'll see me eating a piece of watermelon like this, yeah. And they'll go, when they'll go to frown their faces, I mean, that's despicable. But it's good. And you know the thing that makes me mad, when I go to their parties, they will take a big, pretty watermelon like this and cut all kinds of gadgets. And, and then cut the inside. You see this good piece of watermelon here? Cut all the guts out that good watermelon and mix it up and mess it up with something else, man. And sometimes they got a notion to put liquor in it. And then after they cut them little crevices in it, then put it back inside of that hood. Man, that's a waste of watermelon when all you got to do with it is pick it up like this here. Look here, just pick it up like this here. I don't mess the syrup. I ain't whack my eyes up. Well, lay back. That's the way you eat a watermelon. Now, I don't care if you're a PhD, if you're a whatever. You can't tell me cutting all that out, putting it back in there. Hello. Miss Betty is here. Now, I know you're sitting home. That's an ignorant nigga. But this is a sweet watermelon. I ain't gonna waste no time cutting no watermelon up and mix it up with no fruit cocktail. All I'm saying to you, be yourself, because I went to a party of night with some white folks. They didn't have it in that thing there. They had slices. Walk around, Peter Green, you want a slice? I said, yeah, give me a slice. And one lady said, I don't think, I didn't think you blacks eat watermelon like that no more. I said, look, lady, don't try to get out on me, you understand? You just want to eat the good part and want me to cut it all up and do it. And then, you know, I was mad with niggas for putting salt on the watermelon to two old Bambas. I was talking to two cold-blooded country Bambas, and uh, I said, why y'all put salt on the watermelon? Niggas were a man in my home said, you know I'm down there at the bottom in Virginia. So let me tell you about salt, P. Say, you Washington niggas put too much salt on. Say, you just, I watch you, you y'all. Them niggas dump salt on, say, you put a twang of salt on a sweet melon and it, 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 and it brings out, like, accent. I said, what you say? He said, man, I love watching you watching people. Y'all dumb soul doing it like you got chicken. He said, but you twang it. I never knew that. But I'm just wanting to sit here this evening and let y'all know there's two things you don't do. Don't cut the insides out of no watermelon and mix it with nothing else. And don't put no two sticks around a cone of roast air. You know, y'all niggas put two sticks. Don't do that. You get one of them big roast nears, saturate it with some butter, and hit that room. Be yourself. And always remember that I got it off the vine. It's sweet like honey, and I'll plug it all the time. Say back, y'all. <laughs> I know you say this thing is good and crazy. Hold it for I tell y'all just uh, adjust the color in the towel room. Give yourself a slice of watermelon and get ready to groove with Petey Green's Rockets.